Hello everyone and welcome back to Outer Wilds. This is episode 4. Last time we explored Brittle Hollow and did some black hole and white hole shenanigans. Uh, and I'm instantly moving and getting back into the ship because there do be, <laughs> there do be a time loop. Um, there, there do be a time loop so we just need to make sure that we can you know, do as much as we can <laughs> before we get destroyed. Um, so we discovered more things um, and piecing more and more of this uh, solar system together uh, last episode. Um, and we've got more to explore in Brittle Hollow, absolutely, because uh, it's a, a quite a large place, um, a very interesting place. Um, we've got the Hanging City. Which, you know, it does say there's more to explore here. So, and my city suspended beneath Brittle Hollow's northern glacier. The city is divided vertically into four districts. The Namai debated how to obtain the powerful, highly advanced warp core required for the Ash Twin project. Um, which went into a uh, black hole forge. Um, and a mine named Poke planned to create a new advanced warp core in the forge. Uh, there was a, also an anglerfish uh, fossil. We learned how to evade them, theoretically at least, by studying a fossil we found on Ember Twin. Um, I haven't encountered any angler fish. I don't know if you can. Um, one of the three Namai escape pods landed somewhere on the Hourglass Twins. We're gonna go and find that. There's just there's just so many, <laughs> so many exclamation points um, that I was gonna keep just so I know that we are looking at this and going, going through it. We've got like the mural panels, the escape pods, the vessel, like this was a huge, like kind of discovery on sort of the Namai coming into this system, I suppose, and how they are stranded here. Uh, I don't want to read the ship log too much right now because time is of the essence. Um, so the, the ability for us to mark rumors on the map helps as well so we can actually see how far away it is we can head straight there which is very very nice um that being said something i find that's actually uh, very interesting is there's clearly more to timber hearth um clearly more to timber hearth and we just kind of haven't um we haven't explored that planet much and we probably should i think that might be the next thing that we do after we check out more of uh, Brittle Hollow is we'll go to Timber Hearth and we'll kind of check out all the other things um, around that planet because we because we, we just we just didn't we we launched we got very excited um, <laughs> and uh, and that was it you know it's not what I wanted to press Just gotta try and make this landing flawless as we try and get into the hanging city. Okay, velocity matched. Matching the velocity is, is definitely helping a lot. <laughs> don't think I've seen this before, actually. Or have I? Ooh, let's take a look at this. Have I seen this before? This is a quantum thingy. How do I... Hang on. How do I take a photo of this before I quickly... Oops. Hang on. I need to quickly take a photo of this before it leaves. Hang on. Just let me... Get over here. Um. All right, there we go. Take. <laughs> I've got a photo of it now, uh, so I can get out of my view. Oh, it's getting attacked. All right, hang on. Oh, I should just be able to jetpack up there, right? All right. Oh, <gasps> fuck. Oh, I just put the photo. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. All right. Oh my god. All right. Hang on, let me just get the fuck out of this ship first. I'll just take a photo with the scout launcher instead. Alright, give me that. F 
photo mode. Let's just <laughs> let me do that. That was the much easier way to do it instead of trying to do it within the ship. Okay. Let's read. Plume, Felix, and I have determined this atypical shard of rock is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. The only other object we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior and this groves are related. In her note from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis, this quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. That would make a lot of sense. Of note, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend, the wandering moon, sounds the same. Awesome. Okay, so this is how we can track the quantum moon with this un unidentified signal. I've also heard the same signal this shard produces calling out from Giant's Deep, Timber Hearth, and the Hourglass Twins. Suppose there are other shards like this one. Okay. Okay. Signal identified tower shard. Quantum fluctuations. Oh, it's so interesting how it sounds. And then there's so many. There's almost a point where it like, looks like that all of them will line up. <laughs> Like all the signals there, oh, they they move outwards. Okay, you can't really bring them all in together. We can get one in there like that, but then the other one starts getting further and further away. I can't do it. Okay, um, okay, that's the tower shard. Yeah, we haven't we haven't been up here yet. Cool. Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Oh, so this is this planet's Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are approach, preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. So it seems that one of the one of the also big mysteries of this game is needing to get to this Quantum Moon. Um, and also doing it before this goddamn comet crashes into the sun. Good, we've got an we've got an orbit, so we're fine. Okay, so we'll be descending down this quantum tower. <laughs> so when you when you read the writing, which is good, when you're reading the writing, the game pauses, and there's a lot of writing, so I'm glad it does that, but it's just pausing as there's fucking meteor shards exploding. Um, I think the, the the time the game that doesn't pause is the um, uh, is when you're talking to people, which is which there is an option to pause it, but I I, I think it's fine. Uh, the trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely. The entire plant, roots, and all. This is not normal, even for this alien planet. And I've never see I never see them move. Is that even possible? If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are uh, aberrant, or my brain must be. Plume is right. The trees do move. I confess I didn't notice until I read his notes. Alarmingly, this isn't only the trees. There is other matter in this area, such as that unusual shard of rock moving in the same eerie way. That rock is unusual for another reason, too, Thatch. It possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Hypothesis, this rock shard presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be what is causing other nearby objects to move about in this area? Cool, so the Namai came here, discovered what was happening on a quantum level, and have researched and documented it. And the trees and everything move. So we're gonna go we're gonna go into this quantum tower, I suppose. Um, I'm going to go into this quantum tower and then we will still need to explore more of the hanging city but we're descending anyway so hanging city's all the way over there <laughs> god it's it's so cool alright 
that we're on the outside. The Southern Observatory. Entrance to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge below 90 meters. So down there. Okay. And this goes to the Southern Observatory. All the way down that way. Okay. Well, let's do the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. So we, we get taken down to the bottom of it and need to work our way up to the top. Okay, reading time. Be welcome to this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. Oh wow, the crossroads. Oh, holy shit. Whoa, okay. We can actually get taken to... Oh, we, we can use this to get to that. And then we go into there and that takes us to Whitehall Station. Cool. We'll have to do that at some point too. Hmm. I love it when the music comes in. So nice. I... Okay, how do we get up there? Because I don't... That's definitely not going to give us enough of a boost. There's no more of this to read. Oh, it's broken. Do I have to take the crossroads? Hmm. Okay. I was seeing if there would be something of like a quantum level in here. Like the pathway might be there if we like look at it or something. And then we have to take a photo, but... doesn't seem right to just go straight into the crossroads because that seems like a different thing entirely. Did maybe the wall get broken at some point by like a collapsing meteor and like maybe earlier on this would have been easier to do? I don't know. Do I have to climb on the outside? feel like I'd be needing to do the outside because this all looks the same. Definitely confused. I've only just gotten to the base of the tower and already I'm like, uh, I got nothing. So I'm trying to like look and look back to this to see if maybe there's anything that changes. Well, <laughs> I've got to come back to this then. Uh, I'm going to go this way. I'm just going to, I'm just going to keep moving. Pretty sure this is going to take us somewhere we've already been. Um, yeah, not sure how we can get up there. Also, yes, oxygen is a thing and I'm running out of it. Yeah, so... Oh, that's weird. Hang on. Whoa, hang on. I'm hearing the banjo. That's this signal that we've been... That's the music signal. Cool. 
talk to Ryback. Oh, you launched. That's great. Great job. You. I was, I've totally like had like we've been investigating so many Namai mysteries, and I was like, all right, there's also the you know our species just chilling and playing instruments on these planets, and I was like, wait a minute. You launched. That's great. Good job, you. Wow, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brutal Hollow, but you probably knew that. Are you caught in the time loop too, Ryback? A lot of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only... You've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell. Tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck. I landed somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable instead of being sucked into what's below. I'm engaging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity, so I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? <laughs> That'd be... yeah. Another thing is I might go back to Giant's Deep and talk to... I've forgotten his name, but the, the guy that's on Giant's Deep after we, you know, suffer a, another time loop and check in with him with more conversation because um, he might have more to say after, like, another time loop because he's told us that he's, you know, in it with us. I learned something. Oh, cool. Uh, what is it? I found the Namai escape pod on Brittle Hollow. Wow. So then the Namai probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system. And they must have been in trouble when they launched their escape pod. But what kind of trouble? And where did the escape pod launch from? I'm so curious. This is an amazing discovery. I hope we can find out more about how and why the Namai arrived here. Oh, cool. Uh, what is it? I saw the old settlement. Isn't it amazing? Hard to believe the settlement is still standing, but there it is. It really makes you appreciate living somewhere like Timber Hearth, you know, somewhere that isn't being constantly bombarded with meteors and rocks and stuff. I saw the Hanging City on Brittle Hollow. You visited the Hanging City? Oh gosh, how was it? Was it amazing? Was it beautiful? Was it scary? The Hanging City is where the mice settled permanently on Brittle Hollow. It was their most advanced settlement here. Why they chose to build their most advanced settlement so close to a you-know-what is beyond me. Maybe that kind of thing makes sense to an Amai, though. Maybe they needed the black hole for something? Where should I explore here? Oh, wow. Where shouldn't you explore here? Um, not the black hole. Actually, that's very... no. Which is unfortunate, because the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the Hanging City. That's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also this big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface, trust me, I tried. But if it's like the rest of the my structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Which we might do instead of the Quantum Tower, because we saw that there is a pathway there. Good luck with exploring. If you learn anything about the Namai, I'd love to hear it, if it's not too much trouble. What are you doing out here? Me? I'm an archaeologist, remember? Or, um, THE archaeologist, I guess, seeing as I'm all Timber Hearth's got right now. Brittle Hollow is rich with Namai history. That's why I'm here. This planet is an absolute treasure trove of culture, history, and science. If you have any questions about the Brittle Hollow, Namai, I'm your Hearthian, or um, I have some knowledge of them, I mean, so maybe I can help? Cool. See you later. There's also an unidentified signal nearby. With the unidentified signal... That's a skate pod. Ah, oh, just that. There it is. I have identified him. That's what that is. Cool. Okay. He just chilling. Yum. Alright. Now. is currently going up, which is very interesting. Uh, but if we want to go into the black hole, we would want to take it down. Okay. How are, how are we doing with the sun? Ah, oh, the interloper's gone in. Alright, so we'll die soon. This must be what this music is then, because this music tends to 
to play the same way. So we get this music playing when we're about to we're about to die. <laughs> uh, all right, um, which means we're not making it to the. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I love when it's like when everything's falling apart, and then you have a look, and it's all yeah, it's all gone. Oh shit, we're going in. <laughs> yep, cool. I wonder. I truly do wonder if we head into, wow, it's all here. I truly do wonder if we head into, um, this location really early that the tower of quantum knowledge might not be as destroyed with the way up. Cause it was definitely, um, God damn. Because we were definitely close to this. So that music is like our... Uh, when that music comes in, that's like our cue. That's like, you're gonna die soon. Alright. Um, yeah, we're gonna head straight there immediately. And see if maybe... The Tower of Quantum Knowledge is um walkable and then if not we'll go to the southern observatory because we can make it through there down that pathway um let's let's see each time we go out we discover something new and then we just have to make the journey once again but it gets a little bit easier each time She's like, as quickly as possible, we're like, go! Go! <laughs> we're on a time limit. Alright, so we're gonna get to... We, we haven't even checked out Hollow's Lantern as well, which I don't know if we can yet, but that's... Because we haven't tried. But we can lock onto it, so we'll see. There's a part of me that's like, maybe we could take the ship under the surface <laughs> and try and land it in the quantum tower and then we can kind of like use that to launch ourselves up onto the, the next level. We've checked that area out before. We've been here a few times, so I know about this. That's okay. This is the tower. So this does all slowly fall apart and sink into the black hole at some point. So there you go. Weird angle. Okay. But now that we're kind of like here at the beginning, let's see if we can navigate this tower. So it's interesting that it brings out it brings out the scout launcher automatically when we're here too. I'm trying to see if there's anything can't really get a good view in there to see if there's anything that's like disappearing while we're having a look in there. No, so it is broken really early on. Makes me wonder if I could hop off of this at another level and get in. Because it looks like there are... We could 
hop off of this early. I don't know if there's any other entrances. That's kind of the problem. This all seems very closed. And we can't, you can't jet for, for much either. Because mm. that's the top, essentially. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if that's how we can do it. just take a lot of damage. Like that, break our leg. Yeah, um, god damn. I'm gonna have to figure this out, that's for sure, because something to do about it. Uh, I think what we'll do is I'll think I'll sit on this because I'm not getting it immediately, and I will go to the Southern Observatory instead. Obviously, we're going to think about this and, f and try and try and figure it out. But there's something that our scout launcher wants us to take a photo of too. I'm just like, is there a way in? Just like trying to like sneakily do it this way. If there's like a, a window that would be open or something, but it's not looking likely. <laughs> no. Okay. That was very risky. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the Southern Observatory. Can we make it there before our oxygen and our fuel run out at this point? Who knows? We have to make this path before it all wastes away. I'm getting like more and more like sad about seeing um I'm getting oh interesting. I'm getting sadder and sadder about seeing my like skulls. Is this going to launch us across there? Can we get caught in this one? Oh my god, yep. Fucking hell. <laughs> Amazing. It's like, imagine if I could take these with me and take them to the observatory. I'm assuming I'm still on the path to the observatory. Do I have to just do this with my own jetpack? Ouch. God. Uh, fuck, man. I don't know where... Okay, you can, I guess you can kind of try and suss where the observatory is. Which is underneath us. Uh, I'm starting to lose my platforms. <laughs> um, well, maybe, maybe we went the wrong way. Oh, hang on. Maybe it's... Hang on. It's over there. Might still have hope. Oh, I think we've got... I think I've found hope. Okay. I think we... I was like, have we gone the wrong way? Okay. This might be it. Oh, shit. Um... Oh, 
fuck. Um, what do we what do we do about this? Um, oh, that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting stressed now. Okay. Trees. Okay. My fuel is low though. I need to get up there. You feel, I think you feel a, a sense of urgency way more in Brittle Hollow than you do anywhere else as well. Uh, purely because of the fact that the planet is also fucking falling apart. Oh shit. Um. Dangerously low on fuel. we go. I'm just gonna launch. Wait for the best. Catch me! Thank you. Are we there? Did we make it? It's upside down, but I think we made it. I think this is it. The music, though. Yeah, well, I think we made it. Okay. Giant steep projection stone, and it looks like that there are some... Tornadoes and giant steep. Oh, we've projected into this room. All right, we pr we projected into this room ages ago. Is that? Is that the quantum moon? God damn it. Is that the quantum moon? It's gonna disappear as soon as I look at this. Kanoi, Daz, and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Kanoi, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. Okay, we've read this before. This was when they were talking about the giant's deep current, and how we can... There's a way to calm it. Not to try and recreate it. We've read this before on another planet. Yes, yeah, Spire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at Brittle Hollow Southern Observatory. It reveals how an object might sink beneath the current. And if I visit, can you explain? <clears throat> okay, uh, there are two trailheads. All right, wonderful. We've read that before. Um, and this will help us project to Giant's Deep. We can now see this area. Yep. Awesome. It's all Lehman coming coming together. So this is going to be how we can get underneath the current and get a piece of the orbital probe cannon and see the weird jellyfish that's like underneath the surface. Oh, okay. This is strange. Let's have a look. Kasava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant Steep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit. Okay. But one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. So the cyclones on Giant Steep have been lifting them into orbit. Okay. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update. It's now clear there are two different types of cyclone. Most cyclones on Giant Steep rotate clockwise. These are cyclones Cassava typically uses to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. My gratitude spire, Kanoi is showing me your handiwork and I'm intrigued by this secondary type of cyclone, but was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant's Deep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. Okay. So this is the one that we're looking for. This is going anti-clockwise. Fuck. So if we go into an anti-clockwise cyclone, we'll get pushed beneath the current. Cool. I really wanted to make a model. All right, let's go up here. Okay. 
the quantum fluctuations, um, we, we can use the quantum fluctuations to track the moon, right? Island shard. This one's unknown. We can try and like head in there and that's unknown. We try and head in those directions maybe. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so this is the observatory. We put that up and it shows us like the planet. So that's the Ash, is that the Ash Twins? This is Timber Hearth. And that's the outer rock orbiting it. That's cool. This is Brittle Hollow. And that's the, uh, what is it? The volcanic moon? Giant's Deep. Dark Bramble. Ah. Oh. Okay, interesting. The Eye of the Universe. What does the center represent? Like our system, the sun, and the eye of the universe is just fucking moving constantly? Oh, that's that's weird. Okay. It's showing that the 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 signal is just constantly like bouncing around the system. Oh, hang on. That gave us some text. Unable to determine orbit, no signal detected matching any known criteria for the eye of the universe. Ah, okay. Does that pop up with, if I put this up, does that also give me text? No, okay. Only the eye of the, the universe one has text associated with it. Okay. I knew. What have we learned thus far in our search for the Eye of the Universe? Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the Eye is in orbit around this star system's sun. There we go. This would mean the Eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. So it's just kind of... they're unable to determine where, though. Those of us on the vessel originally followed the Eye's signal to this star system, but we were unable to warp to the Eye itself. The locator we built on the Adel Rock. The locator we built in the outer rock and the more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. Hypothesis, the eye has stopped emitting its signal. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Cassava, how can you suggest that? The eye signal called out to summon us to this star system. I'm aware, I grew up hearing the eye's story, yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. Damn right, you're gonna update my ship log with that information. How should our methods change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? We now, we know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon. We know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon. So what if we try and find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. We need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would prevent, would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Giant's Deep would be a good choice. It's the furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch and it's moonless, except when the quantum moon is visiting. Yes, let's build the cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep. So we have seen that uh, the quantum moon, we've tried to visit it but it disappears when you go through it. So we need to take a photo of it and then try and land on it. We've gotten so close then to just coming across the quantum moon accidentally. Like we've just seen it orbiting giant steep and gone, oh, let's try and land on it. And then we we end up going straight through it because you, I guess you stop looking at it or something. 
Uh, as we couldn't find the eye's signal using two different devices built for this exact purpose, we should discontinue this search method. Mallow's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Raimi and Pi about technology that they're developing? Okay. And the, the time loop begins with that probe being launched. You know? Oh shit, is that it? That's that's the that's it right there, is it not? That's the quantum moon. There it is, and we're we're looking right at it, and it's now gone. <laughs> Fuck! What is there? Alright. What we'll do is as soon as we see it, um we're gonna try and take a photo of it and then land on it. But this was, this was very nice for us. Um, and now my fuel is out, so I'm now using oxygen as propellant. And, I, and I've just trapped myself in a, in a hole at the worst time. I can't get out. <laughs> jump, jump, get me out of this hole. <laughs> no. All right. Far out. All right, let's have a look at this. Ah, this, oh, this should open the door. Nice. We've listened to that before because this is where we started. There's a ship here. It's just not our ship. You know it'd be nice if you could like fuel up at a, at the ships that you find because I do be in trouble with my with my oxygen. My ship's 300 meters away. Let's see if we can... I don't think we can get to it. I have a feeling that there's just not going to be enough surface area. Ugh. So I might have to restart. Really doesn't look like we'd be able to land on that planet, does it? We might be able to make it back to our ship. And I'm thinking that the best way for us to... Um get to this quantum moon is we need to take a photo of it from the scout launcher on the ship itself, I think. Um, and that way, keeping a photo of it, we can land on it. I'm still kind of terrified that it's just going to disappear. But hopefully if we're on the surface, it'll be fine. We still need to figure out the quantum tower, naturally, because I feel like I'm just being a bit dumb about it. Um, but let's... Buckle up. I really want to fucking... I really want to find this moon. So sometimes it visits Giant's Deep, but other times it can be seen from... Brutal Hollow's orbit. Did I just get hit by a fucking... <laughs> Did I just get hit by a, a meteor? Well, we're at... We're almost at fucking death time. So we're probably going to have to restart this one anyway. Because the interloper is on its, it's on its way. That's Whitehole Station. What can we do in this time before we die? What can we do? <laughs> you know? Should we try and fly to this real quick? Should we try fly there? Let's just fly to this thing real quick, see what it is before we die. That's the thing, when you know that you're close to just like the, the system exploding, you're like, you may as well just try and fucking find something out before we die. So let's see what this is, because this, like, orbits the, um, the solar system on a different level. It's faster than we are, <laughs> that's for sure. 
it's it's we're not we're struggling to keep up with it. Oh, there we go. We're catching up. Twelve kilometers. Eleven kilometers. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Okay. We're getting closer to it. It's gonna leave us. What even is it? This is the this is the music that starts coming in. I don't know how we can get it's so small. I'm trying to like match its velocity, but my god. It's like you need to kind of be on the receiving the receiving end of it. <laughs> well, I've just crashed into it. We've, we've damaged it as well. Hold on. Oh shit, it does not like that. Oh, and we're dead. <laughs> uh, ship hole breach detected. I uh, got too close to it. I was. Do we have to exit? Do we have to potentially exit the ship to check it out? It looks like uh, it looks similar to like the test satellite thing on on Timberhearth. I think at first at first glance. But I think you need to make impact with it in order to slow it down because then it just stops moving and then you can. Maybe exit the ship and check it out and have a look. There we go, we just blinked the quantum moon away. And then we see the probe going off in the distance as well. There's, there's that signal that we were just chasing right there. So, does it have a signal? Maybe when we approach it, it doesn't, I don't think it popped up and said unidentified signal detected or anything. But it feels like we need to meet it. We need to like be on a fucking collision course. Stop it in its tracks to find out what the fuck it is. So we're gonna crash into it. It might, it'll do some damage to our ship. And then I'm not sure if exiting our ship in fucking zero G is the best idea ever because, um,. God, I really overshot that. Velocity, baby. <laughs> um, not sure if exiting our ship in zero G is a great idea. I guess it'd be nice if you could go out onto your ship and you'd like, you know, connect a thing to yourself so you could like safely go out onto the ship, but I don't know if that's even possible. I think we're definitely on a direct crash course right now. Oh, never mind. Damn it. <laughs> we were.
there we go. We've made contact. Headlights landing gear damaged. Did we damage it enough to now catch up to it? So our landing gear is now damaged. <laughs> I need to match the velocity better. I'm not very good at that. It's just very delicate. <laughs> very delicate. to slow myself down right in front of it it's not working out very well there we go okay can I get the scout can I get the scout on it oh no ah hitting it made it that happen okay Why did it hit me away from my ship like that? What the fuck? <laughs> get, back, get me back to my ship. Uh, I think it has um, an artificial... I think it, the ship ha emits its own uh, gravity on the outside. Um, which is cool. Can't see where it's damaged. My landing gear. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to go to this. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Unidentified signal. There you go. It just says frequency unidentified. Like it doesn't ident identify it. Is it because we broke it? Oh, can I repair it? Maybe. Can I repair it? If I get close. Oh, 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 don't hit me in the face. Uh, it doesn't come up with a repair. It's gonna just smack me. Oh, it's offline. Does that mean I have to like, how the fuck are we supposed to? Oh, God damn. Alright, so it just shuts down our stuff. Hmm, okay. So we busted it, and I was like, maybe we can repair it if we get close to it. But it won't let us... Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Now it works. That was weird. Deep space... Deep space radio. Okay. So now on the next loop, maybe... <clears throat> We have the frequency discovered of deep space radio, and then we can listen to it. We just had to destroy it to find that out. And please don't crash that ship and die. <laughs> I do forget how fast you're going when you are, when you get on approach, so don't send me into space because I wouldn't make it back alive. I can't match my velocity automatically. When I'm in my suit. Okay. Let me get in there. 
almost back in. <laughs> All right, we did it. Um, so I guess. Oh, my head, my headlights are damaged. They're on the top. We'll do that when we land, because I got my landing gear fixed. That's all that matters. Okay, little detour to find <laughs> that. So it's a deep space radio. Um, Part of me is just like, should we just look at... Oh, there it is. That's the quantum moon right there. There it is. Okay. I was like, should we look at Brittle Hollow until we find the moon? So if we get the scout launcher to take the photo of it, right? Like, it's... Oh, we just overtook it. Oh, no, don't go behind the planet. Don't go behind the planet. Don't go behind the planet. Scout's getting closer, so it's trying to get it on photo to match velocity with it. Alright, I mean, it's technically on camera right there. It has been captured, it can be seen. Question is, can we land on it? We need to be uh, heading back to Giant Steep anyway, so it's a good thing that we're here because we can check out the anti clockwise cyclones. We have it on a photo, on the screen. So it should be good, right? Oh! Yes! Yes! Okay. Now this is now this is what happened. Now this is what happened last time. Is we because I was getting real tense of what was going to happen last time. We found it and we just flew straight through it because that was it like disappearing. Because in that moment you stop looking at it and it's gone. Oh, okay, so we flew through it. We've landed. We're on the quantum moon. Um. Oh what? I can't take a photo of it. Oh shit! It's like all static. Surely it's not going to just disappear on me though, right? Oh no, cool. Oh no, we're fine. That was... okay. N n my bad. Alright. Um, okay, I feel like I'm say I'm looking at it constantly now. I'm scared though. Like... What happens if you just like look up in the sky and <laughs> just, just disappear? Alright. Signal identified. Quantum moon. We have now identified the signal. Dude. This is the fucking thing that we see. We've seen them on the paintings. This is what we see when we die. We go through that headpiece. What the fuck? There's a person. 
It's a dead person, it's a skull and bones. Always look at the fucking ground. <laughs> This is so weird. I love that we landed right next to it. Oh, there we go. I love that we were rent. What the fuck? No. What the fuck? What the fuck? What does that mean? That's creepy as shit. Why is he in different positions? Please tell me the moon's still there. I'm scared now. What the fuck? Solanum, I am here. After watching it wander the skies for so long, I am about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole. It's just that this is true. Oh, so anytime you land here, you're at the south pole. So we land in the same place every time. As a child, I considered such unknown sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. I am ready. Solanum. I'm terrified. I don't know what this does. Whoa, oh! Holy fuck, is this the warp thing? Dude, is this the fucking warp thing? This is his ship. Where are we? Map offline. This is Solanum's ship. Where the fuck are we? Wait a minute. Hang on, we're at Brittle Hollow. No, where the f where the fuck are we? We're not in a ship. We're in Brittle Hollow. Oh, that's this. We've seen. Okay, this is the one of the places we haven't yet visited. Um, this is one of the places we haven't yet visited. Uh, on Brittle Hollow, we saw this one from orbit. It was on my to-do list. Well, we've just been forced here now. That goes to the Southern Observatory. What the fuck? Um, our ship still tracks, so I'm assuming because our ship is on the fucking planet, the moon is still there. Oh man. Oh, uh, but what? I, I. What the fuck? Crossroads. Okay, what is that? Let's go see that. I want to get back to the quantum moon as soon as possible before we fucking die. And my map's offline. Let's quickly go down and check this thing. Call the, call the shuttle home. Activate the gravity cannon. Well, that's the, oh, that is the shuttle. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that is Solanum's shuttle, and we've just warped it from the quantum moon back to here, and we can summon it back here too, with this, call the shuttle home, or activate the gravity cannon. Oh my god, and it just shot it out. So this is sort of like the probe cannon, how it shot that out. And then, 
we call the ship back home this way. It warps like a white hole. Fuck. How do we get this to open? Maybe if this is out. Does this open? Mm. Dude, this is nuts. Come back. Okay. <clears throat> um, let's get back into the ship. We will come back here. Send me up. Okay. So... That does nothing. Oh, oh that just launched us. Where are we go? <laughs> I don't know if I... Does that mean we... Can we get back to our... How do we get back to our ship? <clears throat> Fuck. So we just launched ourselves out. This sends us back to Brittle Hollow. Okay. This sends us back to Brittle Hollow. This takes us back and this does something. I'm not sure. Fuck. Um, I don't know what to do now, but I mean, we've discovered this. We, we just know that we can launch ourselves in this ship, but now I'm kind of screwed. Because my ship is there. <sighs> Space. The final frontier. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? This is crazy. But there's no way that we can return to the quant- there's no like... It's so, so unfortunate that there isn't like a return to previous destination. <laughs> so we've accidentally gotten here and fucking warped ourselves away from the quantum moon. Such a shame. So this sends us back. Well, that's what happens when you mess with technology you don't understand, isn't it? Well, all right, we're here now, so we may as well just investigate this area because I don't think that we're able to launch ourselves, or are we? It's coming back around. We might be able to, like, line line it up and just launch ourselves, but then we're not going to be able to match. We have to, like, match the velocity. Like, I just don't know how likely this is. Because you'd have to shoot yourself out at the exact time that you could line up with the with the planet itself. You know? I'm not sure what the one on the right hand side does. That's kind of also the problem, I suppose. Like if we just fucking... Oh, well, this is... Oh, God. Well, that's one way to end our life real quick. Launch ourselves into Hollow's Lantern. Okay. We've landed on the Quantum Moon. Let's do that again. Let's go back to the Quantum Moon. We have the signal for it now, right? I don't know. But that was Solanum's ship. And that was probably not what we wanted to do immediately, because that took us out of it. Unknown. Island Shard. Unknown. Oh, there it is. Quantum Moon. There it is. But you can only find the signal when it's up. I don't have my scout launcher on me. Fucking damn it. <laughs> I've just, I've just, just barely avoided falling to my death.
What a fucking ride this game is, dude. Alright. Just gonna look at it constantly until the moon signal is there. Just gonna wait and see if the moon pops up. Oh, how fucking tragic, like, getting onto the quantum moon and then the fucking, with us getting into a ship and we just warped back home to Brittle Hollow. God damn. Well, you know not to do that now, don't we? There it is. Okay. Let's land back on it again, and this time not go on to Solanum's ship. I thought that was going to be our point of interest, you know, but that makes so much sense. Now, technically, I think we've, we've got it on photo. We've, we, we do have a photo of it. Just a very long distance one, so it went behind the planet, but that's okay. Because we have a very small photo of it. I like how quickly we end up overtaking the fucking scout launcher anyway. It's just to make sure that we have it on photo. Just for now. And with that tiny pale blue dot, on our camera, we should be able to land on it. This would be the most tragic part of all of that, is like... <laughs> it going behind the planet and that's it, you can't see it anymore. Goddamn quantum moon. Let's go and find what else is on this on this moon. So no matter where we land on the moon when it comes in, we are on the South Pole. Yep, so we always land, we always land here, right on that. Unfortunate fella. Okay. Okay, the ship is on here now. And when we leave the planet, the ship also stays, like, we can track it. Ooh, hang on. Where's Salanum's ship? Did that not reset with the time loop? It should have reset with the time loop, right? His ship? Ah, yes it did. I was just like, what the fuck? Is his ship? Oh, okay. His ship is also quantum. Oh, everything on this fucking place is. Okay. I just need to enter photo mode. Give me that back. Okay, everything on this fucking place is... Can I walk on the water? Is it shallow? Or am I gonna fall right through it? Okay, it's sh okay, it's shallow. This place terrifies me of, of doing, like, anything, just, like, the wrong move.
Oh. Oh. Oh, this is the quantum moon, right? And it's set to Giant's Deep. You could set the moon to the eye of the universe. Can I check? How do I? I guess I gotta put my scout launcher away. Can I interact with this? Oh, oh, okay. Hang on. I was like wondering if you could like move it, shift it over to the eye. And then if we like exited the planet, it would be the eye where it's so easy. This is, this is Brittle Hollow. That's the black hole. So that's the quantum tower there. That's the giant's deep one, maybe? Not sure what that is. I guess it will tell us, recall the rule of quantum entanglement. You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. Recall the rule of the sixth location. Oh no, what? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six locations. Recall the, the rule of quantum entanglement. Quantum imaging. And I have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. Oh. So we've done this one. So we know how quantum imaging works. We haven't done this one. And we haven't done this one. Because we need to do those towers. And then we'll know the, the three rules. And then we can figure this out and we might be able to like set this to that maybe? Is that gonna be our sort of main objective here? That it's like... You can close the door from the inside, which is interesting because what that might mean is then this can change or shift and then when you open the door you're orbiting a different planet. Potentially. Oh, it's really interesting when you end up in a spot that you do not have all the pieces for but you're just trying to figure out how it could potentially work. That's very interesting. So what I guess what that means is because now it's gone. What that means is um, this that structure, this moon has been set to orbit Giant's Deep. So we have to come back here once we have the we have recalled the rules of two other towers, one on Brittle Hollow. One, probably somewhere else, like Ash Twins or something like that. We haven't been to the other ones yet. Alright, this is a small... Oh, shit. There's a Giant's Deep-like tornado. I'm going in. Oops. I've been kicked out. Okay. <laughs> uh, hang on. That might just be a. That might just be launching me off of the planet. I've taken a photo of it. So where the fuck is it? Is it on the North Pole? Yeah. Okay. So the tornado is on the North Pole. It's going clockwise. So I'm assuming that it might just launch me out into space. Oh, no, it pushes me back. All right, I'm going to try and get my ship. Actually, should go back to the South Pole. That's how I get my ship back. Uh, where the fuck is my ship? Oh no. 
Yeah, I don't have a ship locator here. Where the fuck is my ship? <laughs> Where the fuck did my ship go? <laughs> oh, fuck. At this point, the only way I have off planet is a uh, Solanum ship. Is it because I left the orbit for a hot minute and then I came back and my ship's gone? Yep, it's just gone. There it is. The quantum, the quantum moon just disappeared. My ship has been deleted, dude. There it is, there's the moon. My ship's been deleted. Wild. Uh, well, I'm dead. So that's that. Um, there's just no way that this, there's just no way that I survive. Let's just go for a swim, shall we? Shall we? Uh, my fuel level's critical, but I can't even, I can't even get into the planet. You see how you can see my ship on the, on the map? Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Do you just see the shadow? Is that my ship? Where is it? Is it in space? <laughs> Fucking hell. Let's go. Okay, this is fucking terrifying. <laughs> We're going for a swim. <sighs> oh, this is fucked. I can see my ship moving. On this planet. Where is it? Can you, you can see the icon. Is it glitched or what? Where's my ship at? <laughs> I swear I saw the shadow of it. Um, I swear I saw like the shadow of it. Well, we know that we're probably going to run out of oxygen here. Um, I'm trying to just see if I can look at a cyclone that's um, going clockwise. But at the moment, we're swimming right towards one when I'm trying not to. So there'll be there'll be a rare there'll be a rare cyclone that goes anti-clockwise. And that'll that'll push us down. I feel like we're gonna get caught in this one that's just gonna shoot us right up into the sky. I'm trying to see if we can get to the construction yard. While using oxygen as propellant. This is uh very grim. This is not a good this is not a good spot to be in. All of these cyclones look to be going clockwise. Even if we do make it to the construction yard at this point, I would just kind of find it funny that the we're probably overdue for the for the solar system exploding. The sun will explode. I'm at the South Pole. Isn't this where the construction yard should be? Or is it just, is it just like, just a little bit close by? You can't even see from, from the orbit. God damn. 60 seconds of oxygen remaining. Just shoot me into the sky at this point. Shoot me into orbit, boss. Send me up. I accept my fate. Up we go. <laughs> oh, the worst fate, dude. Getting thrown into orbit and fucking dying of oxygen loss. There you go. That was fun, wasn't it? So, what's good? Now, as we know that we don't have to go back to the quantum moon for a while, we have to do those towers first. But I was thinking that we could take our ship through that big tornado because the big tornado on Giant's Deep led us to something, it led us to a quantum tower. So the ship has enough sort of like power to get us through it. So that's another reason to check out the uh, quantum moon it's just such a shame that we just lost the ship um, 
at that point, but holy crap, dude. These these discoveries are crazy. Cause there's still a bunch of um still a bunch of stuff for us to discover at um Brittle Hollow and Giant's Deep. And we haven't even checked out uh the hourglass twins we haven't gone to dark bramble either you know like there's still stuff that we just haven't even explored yet which is super exciting i've mostly just been like honing in and focusing on planet by planet except for timber hearth which we probably should check out more but what we're going to do is we're going to go to giant steep we're going to try and see if we can find the i'm just following like sort of like the most like prevalent rumors that we come across that are tied to our journey of discovery and then we'll have a look at all the other ones later um, we'll also see if we can check in with our friend oh that's uh, okay we'll also see if we can check in with our friend So the tornadoes appear and disappear. Ah, oh, there it is. This one here is going anti-clockwise. This will push us down. There it is. All right, we're down. We're beneath the current. Ship log updated. Interesting. This is the jellyfish looking thing. It's like touching it. Ah. Oh. You the reason it's like electrified? Oh. Okay. Oh, they're going in and out. <laughs> yeah, if you hit it, you're going to get bounced back. Okay. Can we go in or not? I'm going to say no. Yeah. Okay, so that's that damages our electrical systems similar to how the deep space radio did. by the way. I just remembered that we should be honing it. We should try and hone in on the signal of that somewhere. Not really playing much for us, is there? Okay, so there's multiple of these. I wonder if there's a way to get all of the jellyfish. I've never seen more than one before, so spending time here is interesting. I'm wondering if there's a way that you can get all of them out, and then it, the core will no longer be like zapped, and we can like go into it. But I'm not sure. I am. Yeah, it just gets bounced back. What does the ship log say? There's gonna be a lot that'll just come up here now. <laughs> There's gonna be so much, dude. <laughs> just every fucking rumor ever, dude. <laughs> All right, ocean depths is what we wanted to look at first. The ocean is surprisingly calm. Some sort of electrical field surrounds the planet's core. 
So the uh, it seems that the electrical field is being generated by the jellyfish. But I'm not sure how we can do this. They can pass through it because they're electrified, right? And if we go to it, we get zapped. Now that our electrical systems are damaged, can we go in? No, because now that has damaged our reactor, and I have a feeling that we'll probably blow up if we try and do it again. Like thinking, is there like a way that we could like overcharge the ship and be like electrical overcharged and then we'll be able to pass through it or something. Whether it's like a specific timing thing, like all the jellyfish will exit it at some point. If I touch it again, it's definitely going to blow us up. Yeah, at least I knew that. So there we go, ship hull breach detected. So you can only interact with that a few times before you explode. That's good to know. We have, we have quite a few discoveries today. More of Brutal Hollow, we landed on the Quantum Moon and we figured out how to get underneath the strong current of Giant's Deep. And I still feel like we've barely scratched the surface, which is just so crazy. Uh, we're going to bring this episode of Outer Wilds to a close. Thank you so much for joining me for today's discoveries. Uh, we will be continuing uh, with these same rumors and, and, and plot points that we have next time. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. I am certainly still loving every moment of it. And I will see you next time.